Good morning and welcome to this edition of the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. I love it when we have great exciting information to share with you. A little bit later in the program we're going to talk about a distribution that can benefit people in the entire community and you can fall into either category either you can contribute something to it or maybe you can take something away from it we'll talk about that a little bit later in the program but we begin with an a concept the idea of figuring out what you want to do and then going for it no matter where you are in life, and that's exactly what my next three guests are here to talk about. So Michelle Tedder now is a, what's MSN? Masters of Science in Nursing. Yes. And a registered nurse. Absolutely. I knew what RN was. <laughs> and she is the project director for Pathway to Success in Healthcare, Health Profession Opportunity Grants at Community College. Yes. Welcome to you. Thank you. Cassandra Chicaro mm -hmm. is a graduate of the program. Yes. Andrea Dixon, is a graduate of the program, and I'm gonna let you two tell your story, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. But Michelle, I'm gonna come back and start with you. I mean, so really we are, we're talking about, this is a program that really is for anyone. Absolutely, as long as you are 18, mm -hmm. and you desire to have an education in one of the healthcare professions that we offer, uh, it is a fabulous opportunity for you to be able to get a free education, provided that you qualify. Um, for the um, to, to enter into our program. Okay. It is a federally funded program. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't even know it was free. That makes it even better. Yes. All right, we're going to come back to that in a mm -hmm. second. So, Cassandra, tell me your story. Now, you graduated in what? In this past December, December okay. 15th. All right. Now, had you always thought about a career in nursing? Had you always thought about a career in the health field? I wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. I really was... Um, I was working at a fast food restaurant, and I kind of didn't know where I wanted to go from there. But you knew it wasn't there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so um, then I just got into CCAC, started taking some general classes there, mm -hmm. and then I started talking to people about the nursing program and thought, oh, might as well go for it. Okay. Andrea, yeah. what about you? I originally was going to be a teacher. Special okay. education, mm -hmm. following my mom's footsteps as well. Um, had always wanted to be a nurse, certified, registered nursing, nurse anesthetist is what I originally was going to go for. Okay. Um, but then I had my daughter at a young age. So mm -hmm. knowing that being a registered nurse itself could take two to four years and then being a nurse anesthetist itself could take another six possibly. Right. Uh -huh. um, so doing six to eight years of schooling within my position just wasn't going to work for me. Um, so originally, like I said, went to CCAC, took general classes, was, had about a year and a half left to finish my teaching degree and figured this just isn't, I'm not comfortable. Not I was working at Presley Ridge at the time and I, I, I loved working there. I loved the kids, loved working at the school. Yeah. The times worked great for my daughter as well because her and I were both running on the same schedule, but I just wasn't happy. Hmm. Sure enough, found the HBOG program, went through phlebotomy and completed phlebotomy, went through the certified nursing assistant program, completed that as well, and I'm currently in their registered nursing program. Wow. Okay. Now, common denominator, they both started in general classes. Is that kind of the route that people go? It depends. People can enter it from various uh, ways. Mm -hmm. You know, when we recruit for this program, we really promote the fact that it is an opportunity to get the support that you need in order to successfully complete mm -hmm. your degree or your certification and be able to enter into the healthcare and uh, professions. And Drea is a great example of the pathway. The reason it's called Pathways to Success is because you can begin at one of our programs like the CNA program, Certified Nursing Assistant, okay. okay, and get that credential. And then you can go on, you can get phlebotomy or any of the other programs. We have phlebotomy, we have... Um, okay, hold on one second. Mm -hmm. What is phlebotomy? I so, draw your blood. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I knew that I knew, but it yes. was just like he kept saying it. It was like, oh, okay. So like right. the Quest Labs and things along those lines. Okay, all right, yes. perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right. Go ahead. Yes, and um, you know, a, a lot of folks come and they're like, I want to be a nurse, I want to be a nurse. And that's cool, because I am a nurse, so I definitely am a, you know, a champion of nursing. However, there's more than one way to get there. 
And it's wonderful to have these other credentials, like Drea has the, her credential as a CNA. She has a credential as a phlebotomist because now in healthcare, nurses are being asked to do more and more. Mm, so the okay. more you have, the more you are marketable and the more valuable you are when you are out there in the marketplace. So, you know, we were able to take new nursing students mm -hmm. in the first three years of the program. It's a five-year grant. Okay. Um, that is, like I said, it's funded by the federal government, um, by the Office of Family Assistance. And the whole idea behind this grant, this concept, is to recruit people into the health professions, provide them with the wraparound services that are necessary to succeed. Because students who uh, are eligible for our program, mm -hmm. if they are admitted, you get support with child care, your tuition. Okay, wait, this is too good for right now. Hold that thought. We're going to take a commercial break. Uh, I don't want folks to miss that. So we're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to come back and talk about all that okay. next when the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show continues. Don't go away. The Lynn Hayes Freeland Show is sponsored by Dollar Bank, providing mortgages for mothers with less than perfect credit.